Hello, my name is Lily and I am one of your peer academic advisors. And today I will be speaking on how to add a minor or a specialization. So let's get started. First, why add a minor or a specialization? So one, to learn about topics that apply your major in more specialized ways. So obviously with your specialization, you have this broad idea of your major and its field of study, and you choose a specialization to kind of have a concentration in terms of your courses and your understanding of the field. So for mechanical engineering, you have an option to add a specialization of design of control systems, um, and that helps narrow the scope of what you will be learning and how you can apply your major. Um, personally, I added a minor in biomedical engineering to my mechanical engineering major, and it helped me apply this, uh, the mechanics of the topics I was learning in my mechanical engineering major and apply it to the human body for a better understanding of how the body works and how we can utilize medical devices to aid our understanding of human mechanics. Um, so that was super cool and I really, really enjoyed that. And it honestly gave me a little bit more of a understanding of how I could apply my major um, and how I can make an impact on like, let's say society. So to, to learn more about interesting topics beyond your major studies, we have individuals who pursue minors in Chicano Latino studies or Spanish. It doesn't have to solely be in engineering. Three, to learn about topics that may be more applicable to future jobs you'd like to work in. There are individuals who pursue a minor in management because they can see themselves going into those managerial roles. Four, you can help um, yourself become a more well-rounded individual. Obviously, we take those general education courses. We get a broad understanding of different concepts within humanities and social and behavioral um, studies. Uh, but this definitely helps uh, recruiters and other individuals know that you are going out of your way to learn more beyond your major and beyond what's required of you. Uh, five, it helps you stand out in applications and interviews. Like I mentioned, not everyone does pursue a minor or a specialization. So if you do, you kind of stand out because you are taking extra steps um, into something that you are either passionate about or interested in. So I think that speaks very highly about who you are and potentially what you want to build for your own personal brand or professional brand. So where do you even begin? I will begin by talking about minors. Uh, how do you begin searching which minors you want to pursue or which minors are even interesting or even offered. So I highly recommend looking at all the possible minors available at UC Irvine. And like I mentioned before, these can be inside and outside of the School of Engineering. So specifically for the School of Engineering, we have two minors. We have the Biomedical Engineering minor and the Material Science and Engineering minor. Note that if you are majoring in Biomedical Engineering, you cannot pursue a minor in Biomedical Engineering. Your only option would be a minor in material science if you choose to add a minor. And same goes for material science and engineering. <clears throat> Sorry, I misspoke. Material science and engineering. So moving forward, here are possible minors that you could pursue within UCI. I just grabbed a couple from that catalog and saw that there was management, digital filmmaking, economics, Spanish, math. Chicano Latino studies, linguistics, psychology, there's a breadth of options for you. It's just a matter of figuring out what you're interested in and how potentially you could apply it to your future career goals if that's something that you are looking into. So like I said, I got these from the catalog. If you look at this website, you can see all the majors and minors offered at UCI, and it could give you a better understanding of what you can and potentially could pursue. So some things I really want you to consider, especially if you're choosing to add a minor is one, do you have room in your schedule to add a minor? A minor will typically take about seven extra courses um, and it will add it will add to your major workload, um, but keep in mind that those seven courses that are listed in the requirements uh, do not include any prerequisite courses. So in my case, I am majoring in mechanical engineering and minoring in biomedical engineering. 
I, in my mechanical engineering core classes, did not have to complete the chem series. I just had to take chem 1A or engineering 1A, which is one third of the chem series. But in order to begin the process of completing the requirements for my minor, I had to complete that chem series in order to start a bio uh, molecular and a series on like biomolecular um, biology. So something to keep in mind, there might be some hidden prerequisites that are not explicitly listed in the requirements. So number two, I want you to be aware of the prerequisite courses needed for the minor required courses. So like I mentioned, make sure that you are fulfilling them. Uh, sometimes your major will already have some of those prerequisite courses integrated, um, others do not. So there are definitely certain majors that are more compatible with minors. Uh, it's just a matter of figuring out if you have room in your schedule to be able to integrate those prerequisite courses. Um, and also keep in mind that sometimes they're not offered all the time. Uh, so seeing if that fits into your schedule is very critical in order to make sure that you are still on track to graduate in within your four year, five year plan and that you won't fall behind because you're adding these additional courses. So three, does the minor help you with your career endeavors? Um, like I mentioned, sometimes it really helps facilitate and helps amplify um, your passion and your drive for a certain career path. Just something to keep in mind. Um, and I, I definitely think it adds value to who you are um, and what you value. Even if you don't pursue it for um, career endeavors, uh, even if it's just for fun, I think it's really valuable that you are choosing to go out of your way to learn more and have more knowledge in more broad concepts or more broad topics than just your major. Um, four, will adding a minor add extra stress to your major's workload? So a lot of the time as engineering majors, we have a very um, compact schedule and it's very rigid um, for certain majors where courses are only offered once a year um, or you need a course for a series, but if you do not pass uh, or receive a certain grade, you are not passing this threshold and kind of fall behind. So making sure that you are not adding extra stress to your major's workload is very, very important because um, we want you to enjoy your time at UCI. <laughs> and uh, definitely adding a minor, you are pursuing courses and taking classes with different set of peers. So you will have to add like an extra layer of support within your sphere of influence in terms of your minor versus your major. Um, and I also want to point out that you are be, you're going to be taking classes that might be beyond your um, comfort zone. So keeping in mind that sometimes your minor courses might take a little bit more extra time to understand and to complete simply because it's outside of what you're used to. It might add an additional layer of stress because you have to spend a little bit more time on those classes. Um, obviously, it depends on what minor you pursue, but it's something to keep in mind um, and something to consider. So number five, will you enjoy taking these courses? Uh, like I mentioned before, a minor is not required. It's something that you are choosing to add on and something that you should enjoy, especially uh, since it's not required. Uh, so if you're not enjoying it, is it worth adding that minor? Um, obviously, it's just something to consider. We want you to enjoy your co course load, enjoy your classes, um, and enjoy your time at UCI. And then last but not least, please note that you will not have priority registration if you add a minor. Uh, there's a common misconception that there might be a second, there's the priority registration with like everyone within your major having authorization to add certain courses because it's restricted solely to them. There isn't a layer of second, second set priority um, because we, it's not part of our system. It is kind of hard on the back end to provide that. Uh, but most of the time you will need to wait for a fee deadline in order to enroll into those classes. Uh, and that is typically when open enrollment occurs. So something to keep in mind, um, there are cases, especially if you are minoring in engineering and you're majoring in engineering, that you will have the opportunity to 
enroll into a class that isn't specifically restricted to your major because the School of Engineering or the Registrar's Office has opened it up to be from major only to school only. So there are occasions where you might be able to enroll before that fee deadline, but honestly, most of the time you do have to wait for that fee deadline to occur in order to be able to enroll in your minor courses. With that being said, just know that your minor courses will not be guaranteed. It's something that you kind of have to fight for, especially when registering for classes. Um, but there are resources like Ant Almanac that have a notification system that lets you know when uh, classes are open or have open seats for you. Um, and then sometimes there are courses that have wait lists. So taking advantage of that is very um, critical in order to ensure that you are in the process of actually enrolling into those classes. So then to add a minor, you can meet with a peer academic advisor or a full-time academic advisor, or you can do it online by filling out a degree audit. And that form will be on our website under the forms tab. So with regards to specializations, there are majors that require a specialization. Um, just keep in mind, it might be different for um, your specific major, but I know for certain that civil engineering, environmental engineering, and electrical engineering will need to declare a specialization. Majors that have optional specializations include biomedical engineering, biomedical engineering, pre-med, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering. Uh, you can check out the website below to see more about your major and if you are required or if you have an optional specialization offered for you. So if you are planning to add a special specialization, I would highly recommend meeting with your academic advisor, but you can also meet with a peer academic advisor or fill out a degree audit online to add a specialization to your degree works. You can add a minor or an optional specialization at any time within your time at UCI, and you can drop it without any penalty. So it's kind of like a no strings attached um, situation, which is great if by halfway through your minor, you decide this isn't for me. I'm not that interested in this topic as I thought I was at the beginning. You can just uh, drop it uh, without having any penalty, which is great. Please note that there are individuals who declare their minor specialization before they even start their classes. Some of them do it within the halfway point when they have completed about half of the requirements. And some individuals just wait until they are done and completed all the requirements to officially add it um, to their degree works. So if you are considering adding a minor or a specialization, feel free to use the what if feature on degree works to see all the classes you will need to take. Like I mentioned before, sometimes the prerequisite courses will not show up and a lot of times it won't show up. So it's something to keep in mind um, that it'll be a good visual to understand what the required courses are, but you will have to do a little bit of digging in order to ensure that you are fulfilling all the prerequisites for those minor or specialization courses. Next, required courses for your minor can double count for your major's technical electives if they are from the pre-approved list of technical electives for your major. So make sure to speak with an academic advisor to make sure that your anticipated courses will count for both the major requirements, but also the minor requirements. So you might be wondering, um, how will other people know that I am pursuing this major or minor or a specialization. So in terms of documentation, your major is the only thing that will both be in your transcript and your diploma, and your specialization and minor will only be depicted in your transcript. But you are more than welcome to add it to your resume and your LinkedIn and all forms of professional branding so that other individuals can know that you have um, this additional layer to you um, and kind of show what your interests are and what you hope to pursue in terms of career endeavors. 
With that being said, I want to say thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to any of the peer academic advisors or the full-time academic staff or academic counselor staff, and they will be more than happy to meet with you and discuss what requirements you will need to fulfill in order to add a minor or a specialization and have it be showed on your transcript. Um, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this resource was helpful for you.